Hi, my name's uh, Ben Marlow Booth. I'm the uh, brewer for Braybrook Beer Co. based uh, just outside Market Harbour, Leicestershire in the UK. We brew predominantly German lagers or lagers, but mainly German style lagers. What's your production level now and when did you start? What was the idea for starting this brewery? So I started with Braybrook probably two years ago, round about to this month. You know, they, I previously, I was uh, managing a pub in Market Harbour and uh, they advertised for a brewer. So me with no brewing experience thought I'd <laughs> throw my hat in. And uh, luckily having relationships with their former head brewer and uh, some of the owners from working with them before managing the beer house in Market Harbour, they took me on and straight away started teaching me to brew. And after six months, went on to a full-time brewing role there. So what's your philosophy? I mean, uh, you're trying to, uh, you know, lager's always been the uh, breaking point for craft brewers and maybe not so in the UK, but certainly it's very rare that craft brewers, but now this year it's become the big trend. Uh, have you caught a trend? Is it? Um, I like, personally, I like to think, you know, you know lager's always, been a trend may not may not necessarily have been in the craft beer movement but cool we can all agree that it's been oh, it's, no, it's the, the most popular yeah but in terms of the craft i think we saw a part of the market where we could believe we could go in and brew you know a much better higher quality product than a lot of people that were doing at that time there weren't a, you know i couldn't name many people that we thought were doing a real you know, good example of a lager and then that's why you know we looked to you know the german lager scene for the, the quality and consistency they put out and that's one of the things we were you know aiming to replicate and we feel like we do you know my philosophy as a brewer is just consistency consistency and consistency that's what we want to put out time and time again and is that what you, the brewery plans to continue to do? Uh, just concentrate on lagers or do you expand your range? No, I think we will just always focus on lagers. Yeah, we you know, we're, you know, I'm sure we'll, like, we are going to aim to expand and things like that, but that will just be to increase production of our lagers. We've got two core lagers right now. We've got our Keller beer, which is our flagship beer, 4.8 more of a you know amber style lager slightly softer carbonation from the spunding that we do all german malts all german hops and then you've got our house yeast as well so and then we've got helles as well which is you know really has took off and we can understand why because you know it's a 4.2 pale lager real bready notes as well you know with a slight hop character it's just so approachable for people so maybe that's where we get a lot of people that are in the craft beer scene that are really you know interested in lager but then we can also people that like outside the bubble i say that can easily approach us if you know what i mean while maybe some other styles within the craft beer movement aren't as approachable if you know what i mean to people outside of the bubble and do you have your own uh, installation or are you sharing a... No, we have our own installation, yeah, on our... Uh, we share a farm, you know, a Braybrook farm, and we're based out of there, yeah. You know, one of the reasons, I guess, the lo uh, craft brew, because they're nano, usually very small, and the lager process is quite expensive, and of course, yes, high yeah. energy times. <laughs> yeah, God, yeah. Oh, Lord knows, sometimes we do wish we could probably turn it around in two weeks instead of five, but... You know, it's always a minimum four weeks lagging yeah, no, for no, us. And then depending weeks. on the style, it may go to eight, yeah. it may go to 12 and things like that. But that's just always what we'll stick to is because, you know, we believe the lager tastes better because of that. And we would hate, you know, to diminish the product that we're putting out. What's your current production level? So, so the brew kit is uh, ten, 10 hectolitres and we'll brew, you know, between six or seven or eight times a week. So we are looking, you know, to expand onto that, but they don't tell me this. So <laughs> I know it's in the works and things like that. Yeah, definitely. But, you know, as you can imagine these sort of times, you've got to make sure you put a foot, 
you know, foot forward on level ground, don't you? We're, yeah. With everything that's going on. And you see some brewers fail and uh, you want to survive. Yes, oh, definitely. I want to keep the wolves away from my door. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Much thanks for talking to the beer idiots. Oh, and, thanks for uh, letting me talk for a bit. Luck. Thank you so much. Oh, cheers. Thank you. Thank you.